Many thanks to DZ Podcast, Pandemonium, Lion Lost, Phil Extraction Validity Servers, Atlas, Mutated Jurassic Outbreak Servers, One Original DZ Servers, Dust Validity Servers, Sheriff Lion, and Apocalypse Now Server for making this video possible. DZ 1.21 has radically changed how heat sources keep us warm and dry this update, so in this video we're going to make you the hottest survivor that has ever lived by breaking down how the three hidden layers of heat sources work, going over the fastest methods to get the heat buff icon, and how to dry your moist clothes 12 times faster than normal in the freaking rain. In patch 1.20, more menu options were added in the hidden menu we explored in a recent video with one of these new options for the first time ever allowing us to view the heat areas of heat sources, which even details the temperature and distances of all the heat sources in DayZ. Standing in the outer yellow area will give you a temperature based on how far you are away from the center. As you can see on the left here, it gives us a temperature reading with the closer you are obviously making you warmer, but the red area is the core of the heat source. So if you're standing in this area, you will receive the maximum amount of heat possible from the heat source which means getting any closer than this red area to the heat source won't make you any hotter but there is a third layer that is hotter than this that we'll talk about later. For now, heat sources are not technically shaped like this cylinder here, they are sphere shaped instead. This is just giving us an idea of what it's like on the floor, because as you can see here, as I'm climbing this ladder, I'm losing temperature as if I'm inside the yellow area, but as you can see, I'm not inside the yellow area. So while these are cylinders, heat is spherical in Daisy. On top of this, all heat sources in Daisy can penetrate any surface and any item in the game very easily, so even if you're outside of the house, it is possible to warm up from this yellow area here, which also means you can get the heat buffer stat here and you can dry your clothes on the second floor of this building due to the spherical shape of the heat sources. This also means that if you're afraid of not drying your clothes and separate them all around a fire it won't make a difference to just slapping them all on the floor in the exact same spot. However if you want to get the most out of a heat source being inside this red area is highly recommended because the yellow area starts at 50% the heat of the red area. For example standing inside this yellow area here provides 12 degrees of heat but if I step just one step forward into the red area it gets doubled to 25 so the red area is much hotter than the yellow area all six of the heat sources in daisy give us details on their size here which in this example for the fireplace is two meter radius for the red area and a four meter radius for the yellow area here even giving us the maximum temperature here too so we're getting plenty of stats with this new menu item here are the other five showing the red heat area radius here the yellow outer layer radius here and the maximum temperature that each of the heat sources can achieve this temperature number is for the temperature stat that we all have down here in the corner. The higher the temperature we have on the heat source, the faster our temperature will increase down here. This temperature number goes to max almost immediately after you ignite or activate the heat source, but this number called raw temperature or temperature raw does not. Raw temperature is only used when it comes to cooking food or boiling water, so it's only really used from fireplaces, and all of the fireplaces in Daisy are exactly the same. Every single type of fireplace is the same, apart from the tinder only fireplace, the one that doesn't have firewood or wooden sticks inside. These tinder fireplaces, which are usually made of rags or bandages only, reach a maximum of 150 raw temperature, which is unlocked only if you add a wooden stick or firewood to the fireplace, allowing it to go to a raw temperature of 1000 instead. Other than that, all types of fireplaces in Daisy are exactly the same. It doesn't matter which type of fuel you're using, or if it's a stone oven or a circle fireplace, doesn't matter. If it's inside a building, again, doesn't matter. Cooking food is the exact same speed, drying clothes, exact same speed, raising your temperature stat down here, exactly the same speed. In fact, due to how tinder fireplaces have a raw temperature stat of 150, they can be extinguished in 45 seconds, unlike the huge five minutes that's needed for wood fireplaces to be extinguished. So you might say that tinder fireplaces are better for removing evidence of your activity faster. All six heat sources in Daisy used to give us a heat buff icon down here at different speeds, but now they are all exactly the same, meaning these temperatures here do not impact the speed that we get the heat buff icon directly, so a gas stove is exactly the same as a fireplace. How fast you get this heat buff icon appears to be solely based on your current temperature stat down here, so if you're in the blue you cannot get the heat buff icon at all in Daisy, with being in the white or above giving you the buff in two and a half minutes. If you're anywhere inside this yellow area here and you're white or above, you will still get the heat buff icon as fast as being in the red area too. But if you have the blue temperature icon, the red area can help you get into the white temperature stat, which can therefore give you the heat icon easier. However, combining heat source areas together doesn't give you the heat buff icon any faster, and nor will it increase your temperature stat down here any faster. Only the strongest heat source will be considered when it comes to these two, but using heat packs increases your clothing insulation value, which indirectly increases increases your temperature stat, which again indirectly can increase the speed that you get the heat buff icon 
if you're not in the white temperature stat already. So this means that Heapex certainly can speed things up to get the insulation boost to get the white temperature stat, which therefore gives you the heat buff icon faster. But you cannot get the heat buff icon faster than two and a half minutes still. So Heapex certainly can speed things up if you need an insulation boost to get the white temperature stat icon here, but there's no way to get the heat buff icon faster than two and a half minutes. To begin with, there appears to be a huge disconnect between dry and close heat and the other types of heat I've just covered in this video, which can be demonstrated best with the broom. While standing still and holding a broom to dry my clothes, I can dry clothes a drenched piece of clothing in 90 seconds, which is pretty quick. But while running, it would take a minimum of three minutes, which is twice as long. And if the server is laggy, the heat source struggles to stay with you and then can never dry your clothes as a result. Now this isn't the case for getting the heat buff icon or the temperature benefits that you get from holding the broom. It appears this only affects drying clothes. The biggest disconnect though is how drying clothes is impacted on a scale of how close you are to the heat source, not whether you're in the red or the yellow area, which means the closer you place a piece of clothing to the center, the faster it will dry up to an infinite amount. Now placing a piece of clothing as close to the center of a heat source as possible isn't easy, even for me that can see the heat sources and it will give you these times when you attempt to do so using the method that I was using, but there is a way to get wet items the closest they can possibly get to another item in Daisy. Any item you can equip or hold in your hands in Daisy will drop in the exact same place under your feet every single time, which means that any heat source that you can pick up and drop at your feet is also the exact same place that dropping clothing will land to placing the heat source and the wet item infinitely close together, creating what I'm calling a heat singularity. Just a fraction of an inch in any direction from the heat singularity will give you the times that I showed you earlier, but when applying the heat singularity method, all heat sources will dry many times faster than these numbers. So instead of the torch or broom drying clothes in 150 seconds, it will take 25 seconds using this method, which works in the rain as well, because clothes on the floor do not get wet when it's raining. Like I said earlier, this method will only work on heat sources that you can put into your hands or you can put into your inventory. So that's the torch, broom, any basic fireplace, gas stove and generator. Placing the fireplace then dropping items without moving like I did with the torch will change the dry time from 10 minutes for the fireplace to just 75 seconds which is 8 times faster. The gas stove isn't as good for some reason, barely decreasing the time to 3 times faster so 7 minutes instead of 20 minutes to dry clothes. The generator is the worst though, as you can see here it looks like it doesn't dry clothes at all because 60 minutes is how long it takes to dry clothes on the floor with no heat source at all so even though the generator is a heat source it doesn't dry clothes it can give the heat buff icon but it cannot dry clothes again we have a disconnect with the heat sources regardless the torch and the broom will dry any piece of clothing in just 25 seconds which is a great speed but you can go faster than this unlike the heat buff icon drying clothes with multiple heat sources dries them faster so you can combine multiple heat sources together to dry clothes faster so combining the broom the torch and the gas stove in this case, I got the time down to 12 seconds, but I'm sure somebody out there could get it lower than that, probably five seconds I would say. Finally for this video, adding fat or gasoline to a torch didn't change any aspect of the torch at all, apart from obviously how long it will last, and placing clothes inside the red heat area of a vehicle didn't dry clothing any faster than equipping wet clothing yourself and sitting inside the turned on car. If you want to learn more about the many changes to drying clothes and light distances this patch, this video is very much for you. Or if you want to learn how this hidden menu works in more detail, this video showcases some of the best features of the menu. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.